With the high stakes trade talks between the U.S. and, Ch and China in limbo, President Trump's economic advisor says that two leaders will meet next month to further discuss the issue. However, in an interview on in an American Network Sunday, Larry Kudlow also contradicted Trump's claim that China will pay for the tariffs, instead saying U.S. consumers would also end up footing the bill. Isim Jit reports. In an interview with Fox News Sunday, two days after U.S.-China trade talks ended in Washington with no breakthrough, U.S. National Economic Council Director Larry Kudlow said President Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping are likely to meet during a G20 summit in Japan at the end of June to further discuss trade. We want to be as sure as we can be. We don't think the Chinese have come far enough. We'll wait and see. The talks will continue. And I will say this, there's a G20 meeting in Japan uh, toward the end of June next month. Um, the chances that President uh, Trump and uh, President Xi will get together at that meeting are probably pretty good. When asked whether he believes China will retaliate, Kudlow says it's likely Beijing's counteractions will become clear soon. I think I do, but it's interesting. The expected countermeasures have not yet materialized. Uh, we may know more today or even this evening or tomorrow. Um, yeah, I reckon they will. We'll see what they come up with. So far, we haven't heard on that uh, basis. However, during the interview, Kudlow also acknowledged that American consumers will end up paying for the administration's tariffs on Chinese imports, contradicting Trump's claim that the Chinese will foot the bill. Instead, Kudlow said China will suffer GDP losses with respect to a diminishing export market, adding that both sides will suffer. Over the weekend, President Trump accused China of playing for time in trade talks and warned he will offer a far worse deal if he wins the next presidential election in 2020. He added it will be wise for China to act now, emphasizing at the same time that he loves collecting big tariffs. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.